first of all, make sure that you have a heart for the Savior. Make sure that you love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Secondly, make sure that you have a heart for the Spirit-filled life. Be filled with the Spirit, Ephesians 5.18. Thirdly, make sure that you have a heart for the Scriptures. Let the Word of Christ dwell in your heart richly in all wisdom. Fourthly, make sure that you, as the graduating class, always maintain a heart for souls. Carry gospel tracts. Stay involved in soul winning. Look to be leading people to Christ at every opportunity. Fifthly, make sure that you maintain a heart to serve. Keep a servant's heart towards the widows, towards the teenagers, towards the pastor, towards your community, serving others. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to give his life as a ransom for many. Make sure that you keep a heart for spiritual songs. There are songs that are spiritual. There are songs that are carnal. Carnal songs tend to have a heavy beat. They tend to speak less of God. Their doctrine is hard to find. Spiritual songs exalt Christ, and they have a dominant melody, and they're honoring to the Lord in every way. Keep spiritual songs at the center of your life in the worship of the New Testament Baptist Church. And then have a heart for separation. Sometimes, preachers, that will mean ecclesiastically, you have to separate from a brother that walks disorderly, from a brother whose doctrine has drifted. And also, separation applies to your personal life. Be not conformed to this world. Have a life of distinction to the honor and glory of God. That's my heart for you, and I hope that it means something to you. And I believe this. Look right here as I close. Right up here, guys. I believe the pastor that sent you here would say, that was my heart when I sent them there. I wanted them to get those seven things. And I would say to you, if you have a home pastor and if you have a college president that have been guiding you in this way, can I encourage you to stay on that path and keep that heart to the glory of God?